Hey guys, due to popular demand, um, we're going to do a Trikosaurus counter guide. So, uh, I've seen quite a few people asking in the comments about, uh, you know, how to counter Trikosaurus. Trikosaurus obviously is the strongest dino in the game at the moment, as agreed to by a lot of people, actually. Um, I, I don't think it, I don't think it's even close. Uh, it's really, really strong, obviously. It's strong offensively, offensively and defensively. Uh, it has absolutely crazy stats. And um, yeah, let's 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 go over it. So uh, first of all, let's just talk about Trichosaurus for a bit. Trichosaurus, obviously, it's a unique dino. It fuses from Enkentro, which is fused from Kentro and Anki, also, and then that's fused with Rex. So that's a, a unique made of three epics. It is the most expensive dino in the game uh, in terms of you know the fusion fusion hybrid rarities. So it is the only uh, dino that is of that caliber. So. Um, as Ludia intended to, they made it a bit stronger because of how hard it is to get. So, let's go over its stats. As 4.5k health, 1.6k damage, one, uh, 108 speed, 30% defense, and 30% critical chance. So this is absolutely busted stats. Um, this 108 speed uh, would have been great in the last patch, but it is a bit balanced in this patch because there are 109 dinos that that uh, do decently against Trikosaurus. And um, health, 4.5k health, that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I don't know who who had the idea to give it 4.5k health and also give it 30% armor. That's, it's it's like the stats, like I, I, I'm just gonna uh, talk about some other uh, uh, tanks right now real fast. Um, if we look at uh, some tanks in this game, uh, let's uh, search by health. Um, we have like uh, at 4,000 uh, health dinos, over 4,000 dinos. Like, look, um, dinos of this caliber. Amargocephalus is 4.5k health with 40% armor, only 10% more armor. Has this abysmal uh, uh, damage and speed stats, uh, you know, 5% crit. Uh, Allosinosaurus isn't a tank, but you know, it's also 4.5k and only has 15% armor and still has weaker stats on the other, uh, on, uh, you know, damage, speed, and critical chance. Um, other, uh, tanks, uh, we could look at some more, uh, popular ones like Alan Kylos is 30% armor and, you know, uh, 4.2k health. That's a really good tank and it doesn't have as tanky stats as Trichosaurus does. And, you know, Track Distance, a super, super popular tank, 40% armor, only 3.9k health. Like, Trichosaurus's defensive stats is absolutely busted. It is probably one of the best uh, defensive dinos in the game. And, as we will see with its moveset, it is very, very strong. So, uh, let's go over its moveset now. Armor piercing strike, you know, one times damage, and it's, it's actually defense shining strike, I think, at the moment. Uh, deals one times damage and, you know, breaks shields, bypasses armor. Defense shattering rampage, that's, you know, your signature Rex move. Destroys shields, bypasses armor, and deals two times damage. Uh, obviously, it has a one turn delay, which is very important, and only a one turn cooldown, which is also important. Its other two moves are inherited from Ankentrosaurus, which is one is instant distraction. Uh, reduces target's damage by 90%, and it's a priority move with only a one cooldown. And also instant invincibility, which is 100% shield for one turn and cooldown three turns, delay one turn. It also has a 0.5 counterattack with its already crazy damage, 1.6k damage. It has a 0.5 counterattack. This is obviously it's this is Rex levels of uh, damage, although it's. It's more on the lower side of the Tyrannosaurs, but it's still 1.6k. That's higher than any other uh, dino type in the game. And it also has a 0.5 counter, so that's, you know, if you add that up, that's uh, 2.4k 2. Uh, 2, uh, 2. damage, potentially. Uh, this one doesn't break uh, shields or pierce armor, though, so that kind of helps against uh, some dinos, for, for some dinos. So... Yeah, and remember also has a 30% crit chance, so 30% to deal deal a uh, 0.5 more damage with your uh, attack. It is absolutely busted, but there are ways to counter this dino, and we'll go over them in a sec. So yeah, just Trichosaurus in general, 
Really strong dino, probably probably the strongest dino in the game. Um, it's hard to find any dino in the game stronger than this. Absolutely busted moveset, busted stats. So usually this is how, you know, before we know how to counter Trico, we need to know how Trico works. So usually how Trico works is a Trico will turn one, either strike or distract. But, you know, to maximize its uh, utility, it should distract on turn one. So it's so it turns into a free rampage. So distract, rampage, distract or shield, and then rampage again. So you just keep on alternating between the defensive moves, making you take no damage while dishing out a two times damage with a 1.6k base. And when you use these defensive moves, remember, you're still getting that 0.5 counter. And so you're not like not doing any damage. You're not taking damage while doing 800 damage back to them with a 30% crit every turn. So it's really, really hard to break through uh, Trico. So a lot of conventional dinos do not work here. But we can find some dinos to counter it. And here I got a list of dinos opening, you know, as you can see in my many tabs here. I'm just going to make this window a bit better bigger if I can I can't okay here so I got a few tabs with uh, different dinos that counter it at a, at different levels um I I didn't really order them but generally this one is the strongest and then th uh, these at the back are you know kind of iffy but you know they all work in some ways so let's go over the first one Magna Purator uh, a lot of you probably have forgotten about this dino since it is not a huge player in this meta at the moment due to its unfortunate 3000 damage and uh, 128 speed but it is a really really good trico counter it works really really well against trico and it can it has a really good shot at beating trico so uh when we do uh, look at these counters um we have to look at you know the percentages so magna Purator just doesn't matter what trico does has a 70% chance to beat Trico. So that's a really, really good percentage for Trico or, or for Magna uh, against Trico. So Magna works really well. So uh, looking at how Magna could beat Trico, I'm gonna close my sound for a second. I totally forgot about that. So what Magna needs to do is simply Armor Piercing Impact and Defend Shattering Rampage. That has enough damage to take out Trico on turn two. And because it's immune, it has immunity, Trico can instant distract it, and because it has turn 2 defense shattering rampage, and Trico can't turn, uh, put up a shield on turn 1, it only can put up a shield on turn 2, defense shattering rampage will destroy the shield as well, so Magna is almost like a perfect counter, except for its really low health, which causes a bit of problem, that's why there is a 30% chance of Trico winning, and that 30% chance comes from Trico using armor piercing strike on turn 1, and critting on the armor piercing strike. The crit on the counter will not kill Magna, but if it crits on the Armor Piercing Strike, which is a 30% chance of happening, uh, it will kill Magna, unfortunately. So Magna, 70% chance to win against Trico. Really good counter. Uh, obviously, Armor Piercing Impact and Armor Piercing... Uh, I think it's Fan Shining Strike. Fan Shining Rampage and Null Impact and also Immunity really helps uh, beating Trico. So next, let's go to uh, Triostronix. Trustronics is in a really weird position because I know a lot of people have been telling me they they destroy Trikos in arenas with Trustronics, and that usually is the case. But the reason why it's happening is because a lot of people have higher level Trustronics than the higher level uh, Trikos. So at even levels, the standard move set for Trustronics actually doesn't beat Trikosaurus. So yeah, there are a few problems with that. Uh, but if you have them at equal levels. Trostronix still has a decent chance of beating Trichosaurus, and it is as follows. First turn, you use Radio to Crush, which, uh, you know, obviously increases your damage by 50% and crit chance by uh, 30% for uh, uh, for next three turns. And uh, Trico, because you use tri Radio to Crush, it doesn't trigger the uh, counter, so you're safe on that front. So uh, Trico's not going to immediately, you know, deal a lot of damage on turn 1 with the counter. And then turn 2, you have to go for Defense Shattering Rampage. And since, again, Trashonix is immunity, and you will see a kind of trend here, you know, immunity dinos do decently well against Trichosaurus. Uh, it can't be instant distracted. Not that it would matter. Well, it kind of matters, because, uh, I mean, if Ready Crush was a priority. So it does act, never mind, it doesn't really matter. But, um... 
uh, immunity helps it a lot so it doesn't get distracted when using the Defense Shining Rampage. So you're going to hit it with her Defense Shining Rampage. And unlike Magna, uh, Trishonics can't get killed on turn 1. But unfortunately, Ready to Crush plus Defense Shattering Rampage does not have the damage to take out Trichosaurus. If you're a few levels higher, you can take out Trichosaurus with Ready to Crush Defense Shattering Rampage. But if you're at equal levels, it does not take out uh, Trichosaurus. You have to have that uh, crit on Trichosaurus to take out Trichosaurus with Triostronics, which for Triostronics isn't a really bad deal since it has built in 20% crit chance. And the Ready to Crush adds 30% more, so it's a 50% chance to take out Trichosaurus on turn 2. Uh, if you don't take it out on turn 2, it's going to eat you up. You only have 3.9k health. Trichosaurus, uh, turn 1 is going to deal uh, 1.6k. Turn 2 is going to deal uh, 3.2k. Add that up, that's you know way over 4,000, so your Triostronics is dead. But uh, if you do have Triostronics and you're having trouble with uh, Trichosaurus and you don't have a really high level Magna, which I suppose a lot of you guys don't, because I personally don't have a really high level Magna, but um, yeah, you can totally just level up Triostronics up a lot, and hopefully your Triostronics will be higher than the, that opponent's Trichosaurus, and that would uh, take that out. Or you could just rely on the 50% chance to crit, which is like dodge. Dodge is 50%, <laughs> so you'll know those chances. Okay, next, Sucatator. Sucatator is a really good dino to fight Trichosaurus with, because of the move Lethal Wound, and it also has Instant Distraction. But there's a bit of a um, issue with in, uh, with Instant Distraction uh, against Trichosaurus, because Trichosaurus has Instant Distraction too, and um, uh, uh, Sucatator is also uh, faster than uh, Trichosaurus, so if they both use Instant Distraction on the same turn, Sucatator's Instant Distraction is going to go first, and then Trichosaurus is going to go and uh, it kind of nulls Sucatator's instant distraction, so your instant distraction is not going to do anything, and then you're going to get distracted. But that is not how Sucatator is going to beat tri uh, Trico. It's not with raw power. It's with lethal wound. Turn one, uh, you deal one times damage, a DOT point, uh, uh, thirty-three percent of targets max health for free uh, three turns. So turn one, you lethal wound. Turn one, the armor piercing strike or defense shining strike doesn't take you out. Obviously, you have four point six k health. That's a a, that's you know uh, that's a HP powerhouse here, and then turn two you go for the distraction. Trike source is probably going to go for a distract as well. Um, it makes no sense for them to, well, like I'll, unless they predict you not use distract on turn two, because they're probably going to predict you're going to use distract on turn two, so they're probably not going to use defense shattering rampage. But if they uh, do, then uh, ouch. I guess, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, so that's why you distract on turn two. Uh, anyways, and they're probably going to save uh, DSR till turn three, and then turn three, you hit him with whatever, Superior Strike could null impact, probably Superior Strike, because just in case they saved, uh, uh, what's it called, Instant Distraction, although it doesn't, it really doesn't matter, it's going to be dead at the end of turn three, and that's the important part, it's going to be dead at the end of turn three, so it's probably going to get a uh, defense Shining Rampage in 50% uh, of the time, either on turn 2 or turn 3. So that's going to deal a lot of damage to Sucatator. Sucatator might die in the process, but it's a, it's a Suicide Bomber, it's a Bleeder. It, it will take Trichosaurus out with it on turn 3. So there's that, and it also has a chance of surviving. 50% chance of surviving, so there's that. Alright, moving on to more Bleeders. Spondosuchus. Spondosuchus is also a lethal wounder. It's not as great as Sucatator when it comes to dealing with Trichosaurus because of its lower health and it doesn't have a defensive mechanic. So turn 1, it lethal wounds, obviously. And then Trichosaurus is going to hit you for a lot of damage and then you either swoop out and like you swoop into some already low HP dino so they take the DSR and you're not losing too much. Or you just crit impact, take the L, and then you know deal some damage to Trico, and then just die. But then Trico will get killed next turn. But Trico, uh, in most case scenarios, it's gonna have another turn left. So whatever Dino comes out, uh, you're gonna throw out probably should be capable enough to take out Trichosaurus uh, in one hit. If not, your uh, that Dino is gonna eat a pretty strong hit. So, you know, that just comes to show how low strong Trichosaurus is. Uh, moving on, Spinosaurus Gen 2, it's another lethal wounder, same thing, same problem with Spinosaurus, uh, except it can't swoop, uh, low HP, lethal wound, Rampage, it's kind of a worthless move in this scenario, so same thing. 
But if you really don't have any of those uh, better, you know, legendary counters or unique counters, Final Gen 2 works as well. Uh, just not as good. Dominodactylus is another one. Obviously, uh, Lethal Wound. It also Swap and Wound, so you could Swap in then Lethal. If you Swap in on a uh, Strike, that is. You're not going to Swap in on that DSR, because DSR is going to one-shot you at 3k health. And, you know, that's another one. So, uh, there's Dominodactylus. And moving on to uh, uh, Offering Bleeders, and the other Bleeders kind of work as well, but they just don't guarantee the kill, like the Swap in Wounders, or the Gashing Wounders, or the you know, the other Wounders, spy, uh, the Gen 1 Spino with its Wound move, whatever it's called, Exploit Open Wound or something like that. Uh, those work as well, but just not as good as the Lethal Wounders. Alright, uh, Tenantorex. Tenantorex is one of Trico's peers. Tenantorex does really well against Trichosaurus, actually. 109 speed, outspeeds Trichosaurus, 1.6k damage with 40 more, which I don't really know how to say. But, uh, okay, 1,640 damage. And then uh, 4.5k health, so uh, Trico cannot take it out on turn 2, despite Trico's high damage and uh, Tenanto's, you know, uh, HP. Because Tenanto has Distracting Impact, so turn 1, it doesn't matter what Trico uses, it's, if Trico uses, uh, dis uh, you know, uh, Instant Distraction, that's good for you. If it uses, you know, armor, uh, if it uses strike, it's good for you as well. As long as you're using distracting impact, it makes it that uh, on next turn, Trico can't kill you. So what all you have to do is uh, go for defense shattering impact, or uh, or defense shattering rampage. It doesn't really matter which one. Um, it's obviously a bit better if you go for rampage. But if they, you know, instant distract the rampage, it's 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 no big deal. You can impact, and then uh, it, you can impact after the the rampage. Which you know they're still distracted; they're not going to take you out. And then, even if that 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 gets some somehow subverted, uh, you still have rampage back up again. And by then, you should take out Trichosaurus. So that's non T-Rex, really good uh, Trichosaurus counter. And Thorodolosaur is is an okayish Trichosaurus counter. You just really have to predict uh, as the as the um, uh, Thor player, you have to predict when they're going to instant distract you. You you don't want it to instant distract your rampage. And you don't want, uh, what you do want is them to instant distract or instant charge, which will leave them, you know, vulnerable to a, a next turn defense shining rampage. So you'll just have to uh, maneuver uh, around that a bit. Uh, it doesn't have that distract that uh, Tenatorex has. So if Trico lands a DSR on you, you're dead. So, uh, you know, that's that's just one thing about it. And, and if you do, uh, a crit on the impact doesn't kill Trico, you'll need two. Uh, impacts to take out Trico, so that's also a thing to keep in mind. So you just have to play a bit cautious with Thorodolosaur, but Thorodolosaur can also take out Trico as well, and decently reliably. So, uh, moving on to Indoraptor. Indoraptor is a very iffy situation. Uh, Indoraptor, usually you're going to go for evasive stance on turn 1, just to maximize your survivability, and you know, turn 1 you really can't do much, that's going to help. Like, even if they instant distract on turn 1 and you're in evasive stance, you could just go armor piercing strike next turn, just in case they put up a shield. So it doesn't really matter. Um, it, evasive stance is the better move for uh, Indoraptor to go for. And then, you know, depending on what they use on turn 1, you could you'll go either Cleansing Impact, Defense Shining Rampage. Remember, a Cleansing Impact uh, plus Defense Shining Rampage actually doesn't take out Trichosaurus, you'll, so you'll need to... Uh, hit it one more time, but thankfully you are faster than Trike Source. You do outspeed it, and um, you can take it out if, uh, if 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 you get one of those uh, DSR predictions correct. So that's Interaptor. Moving on to some more iffy counters. Uh, Utah Renex. Utah Renex. Uh, distracting Rampage that helps it survive a bit against Trike Source and deals a lot of damage. Uh, but it's not enough to take it out, obviously, because with the armor, it doesn't take it out. It's plus, the instant charge still doesn't take it out. Plus, impact and run. So, and and Trexors, obviously, it's it, it, they're going to mitigate one of these damage. Hopefully, it mitigates instant charge damage for you. So, what uh, Uterenix could really do is, you know, distract it and then run. You could actually at least run away from the situation. It's something better and deal a lot of damage before you run away. So that could be something uh, Uterenix could do. Uh, it's not exactly a counter to kill it. And, and like up to now, like all the counters that actually take it out are probably, you know, 
th those are the main ones that we already talked about. These are the ones that can kind of deal with it, but don't really exactly kill it. So uh, moving on, Dollar Kyrus. Dollar Kyrus does better than uh, uh, Uranix actually because of the two Rampages. Actually, uh, Dollar Kyrus does have a chance to kill it, um, but it very unlikely. If you land both Rampages, then uh, Trico's dead. It's not that likely. Um, they're probably going to distract or shield on Greater Stunning Rampage, which isn't too bad for you because they're going to be stunned. And then next turn, you could go uh, Rampage and run and hit them with you know, the Rampage. And then you can run into another Dino, hopefully outspeed it and take it out. So Dino requires a very, very good uh, candidate against Trico. But remember, you have to distract on turn one. Don't go for Superiority. Uh, even if they if they are if they are planning to distract you, don't go for superiority. You need to distract so they don't one shot you on turn two. So there's that. Uh, Dalaranosaurus is kind of the same thing with the Dalarokyrus, except you don't have to play that safely because you're probably not going to kill it anyways. It doesn't have that that good of a chance since its a uh, total damage output is lower than Dalarokyrus. So there's that and Monomimus. Just hopefully you uh, you know turn one you throw out uh, the the distract and dodge and hopefully you dodge enough times to take it out this is a very iffy counter um trixorus can one shot you <laughs> if you don't play it right uh moving on draco gen 2 draco gen 2 you can't uh it's a it, it actually it's really good against trichosaurus and uh close this ad that's weird but um uh yeah if you do have some other dino uh you know uh, taking out a lot of dino uh, a lot of hp out of uh, trichosaurus just like Eudorenex or Dylorokyrus or Dylorano, especially if they could just run into Dracorex, that is a really devastating combo and that could totally take out Trichosaurus. And yeah, Dracorex uh, Gen 2 works really well against it as well. So yeah, those are some uh, general uh, Trichosaurus counters. Obviously, I didn't go through every dino that could beat uh, in, in the game that could beat Trichosaurus, but uh, those are some uh, helpful ones. At least I, I at least I hope they're helpful. But yeah, that's how we beat Trichosaurus. Strongest dino in the game, really hard to beat. Um, and Trichosaurus, by the way, it is strongest dino in the game, but there are really count uh, there are a lot of counters as we as we've just seen. It's not Trichosaurus isn't the strongest dino in the game because there aren't too many counters. There are counters. It's just the sheer amount of damage it outputs, the stuff it could take, the stuff that it does super well against. And you know, it's, it's not like Indoraptor where you have like zero guaranteed counters in the game and you know Erlodom where uh you know it just has massive damage output this is a very very balanced uh but it, it i know it sounds weird but a really really balanced extremely overpowered dino if that makes any sense <laughs> Um, I just mean it's, you know, uh, for an overpowered battle, uh, dino. Okay, I'm, I'm not trying to explain that. I don't even know what that means. Just disregard that. But, yeah, um, that's how you take out Trichosaurus. Hopefully this helped. Hopefully, uh, this helps you take out some Trichosaurus. And hopefully this also convinces you to work harder to get a Trichosaurus. Just because, as you've just seen, how hard it is to take out Trichosaurus. A lot of these dinos, like the Bleeders, they die with Trichosaurus just to take it out. So yeah, really strong dino. So uh, hopefully uh, you guys do well against it. And yeah, um, that's it for this video. Uh, like if you thought it was helpful and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next video.